Hello everyone, I'm back here uh, with a new video for an old question actually. Thanks to one of our viewers, I think it's Justin, who pointed out that actually I made a mistake in this previous video. So this is like a correction video with the correct solution and the working involved. So it's a video about probability and the using the tree diagram to answer some questions. So let's dive in. We have a bag with 10 discs, two blue, five red, and three green. Two discs are picked at random, okay, very important. It's gonna be one after another. This is the major assumption we're making, one by one. And done without replacement. So total 10, and of which we're gonna pick two. So now we're gonna draw a tree diagram to show the, all the possible outcomes after each and every pick. So for our first pick, like I said, we're going to do it one by one. We are either going to get a blue disc, a red disc, or a green disc. So first pick, really easy. Just look at the total and the number of, uh, of that color that you want. So blue, we have two out of 10. Two blues out of the total, 10 simplified to one fifth. Red, we have five out of the 10 simplified to half. And green, we have three out of 10. Now, we are going to proceed to our second pick, which is important because after our first pick, let's say I use this as an example, if I had picked a blue, now you have to think carefully, what are my second, what are my choices for the second pick? I still have blue, green, oops, sorry, not green, sorry, red, or green, right? So if I had picked a blue one at first, I would have put that blue ball aside. So how many blue balls are left behind in the bag? Very good, just one. And the total, if I place that one blue ball aside, I would only have nine left inside. Am I right? Next, if I follow the second reality, if I pick the blue, but now I want to look at the possibility of getting a red instead. With the blue, first blue picked, the second pick of getting a red is not affected. So I would still have 5 out of 9 chance of getting a red as my second pick. As for the green, I would still have a 3 out of 9, which is a third. Okay, so we're going to do this considerations of all possible picks for the other branches. Let's do the one on red. I could still have a blue, red, or green on the second pick after a first pick of a red. So this one will be, um, let's quickly fill it up, okay, without uh, wasting too much time. If I pick the red at first, the blue is not affected, I will still have two out of nine left. If I had picked the red first, five, the number would drop to four out of the new total nine. And last but not least, for green, I'll still have 3 out of 9, so a third. Last but not least, everyone, again, blue, sorry, blue, red and green are all possible. So uh, blue will be 2 out of 9, and green will be, sorry, red would be um, 5 out of 9. And lastly, green will be 2 out of 9. And for clarity's sake, it's really crucial to know what is your total final outcome here. I love to list it at the final side on the right. That I've picked a blue blue, a blue red following the branch, a blue green, red blue, red red, red green, green blue, green red, or green green. This would allow me to answer part B. But for now, I have actually completely answered part A. I have drawn the tree diagram which shows me all possible outcomes, all possible picks with their probabilities. Now, if I were to go to part B now, okay, let's draw a straight line, that's not so nice. First question, I want the probability that both the picks are green. 
So clearly, this scenario corresponds to this one over here at the bottom. So in probability, we learned that for to calculate this green-green reality, it has to be a situation of picking the first green and then the second green. So first green picked with a probability of 3 out of 10 on the branch, and then, which is associated with a multiply or multiplication, and then a second green with a probability of 2 over 9. And that gives us 1 over 15 as the solution. Part 2. Probability that one disk is red. I'm going to write it like this. One red, one blue. Tricky question because they did not specify which color comes first. So it could be either red first, then, and then the blue. Or, which I associate with a plus, or it could be blue and then the red. Right? Both of these scenarios satisfy that statement. So this is a tricky one which we all have to be very aware of. So individually, red, blue, where is it? Red, blue is over here. And later on, I need blue, red, which is here. So we're going to calculate them individually. Red, blue, just look along the branches, is simply half multiplied by 2 over 9. Or it could be blue, red, right? So blue, red, further on top, is a 1 fifth multiplied by 5 over 9. And this gives us 2 over 9. The third one, part 3, the second disc is not a red. So they want the condition of the second disc not to be red. Now if you look carefully across all the final outcomes on this column here, notice that many of them satisfy that statement, right? But what if I wanted to take a shortcut? What if I wanted to take the total probability of 1 and subtract it away from all of them that has the second ball, or second disc rather, as red? So now, which one of these outcomes satisfy the statement of second being red? This one over here, 1, 2, and 3. So it's so much easier to calculate these three probabilities rather than all the other 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 probabilities by taking the, what we call like, like the complement of it, right? Something that's black or white. It's either second is not red, the opposite of it is that seconds are red. So 1 minus, what are the probabilities? Probability of blue then red. Or it could be, right? The probability that is red red or the last one probability that it's green red right so individually everyone it'll be blue red just follow the branches one fifth and phi nine red red is um, half and four nine and lastly green red is three tenth and phi nine which gives us half. And that's all we have for today. Thank you.